My young friends, I am so happy to be with you today. This is such a treat. I'm surrounded by angels. We are going to talk about experiences on the path of becoming bound to the Savior through covenants and ordinances. And I have some questions and I'd love to hear your answers. Okay. I want to know, what do you remember about your baptism? Um, I felt really, really happy because, well, I just got baptized. You know, now I could keep being happy and be a member of the church and get a testimony and, as some would say, live happily ever after, but it's not that simple. <laughs> Is there a little bit of work involved? Uh-huh. I was really happy to finally be baptized, and I was also happy to get the gift of the Holy Ghost. Isn't that special? To have that special spirit, the Holy Ghost, with you always. How have you felt the Holy Ghost in your life? I got mad at my mom, and I stormed off into my room, and I just sit down on my bed, and I think, man, I wish I had someone that I could talk to. And then I see a little note on my nightstand, and I pick it up, and it was from my mom, and it said, Reagan, you're a very spiritual girl. We're very proud of you. And I was just overwhelmed with the spirit, and I was so grateful to have a wonderful mom like her. Especially through lockdown, I felt the spirit, because there's been tough times, but the spirit has, and Jesus has guided me through them. He didn't leave you alone, did he? I was watching a video about Joseph Smith, and, and then when the pillar of light came to him, he was tempted by Satan, Satan's power, and he still was, had his mind focusing on what he was really there for. Yes. One time I had made a bunch of cookies and there was a bunch of leftovers. And so I was thinking of who I could give them to and the Holy Ghost prompted me to give them to neighbors down the street that we hadn't ever given them to, and it helped me feel the Holy Ghost. Isn't that interesting? When we listen, yeah. we receive direction, don't we? These are all such important experiences for you to remember. When have you felt Jesus' love for you? Yes. When I was kind of old enough to know what he did for us, like he atoned, and he, he suffered a lot. <laughs> A lot and a lot, just for, just, just for us. Yes. I feel Jesus' love a lot when I'm serving, and I think about it, and I think of how much he served others, and he got hurt, and he still served the people even if they hated him. Do you want to help others have the same happy feelings that you've shared with me? And how we do so is through loving, sharing, and inviting. When I think of loving, sharing, and inviting, I think about being disciples of Jesus Christ. What do you share with your friends, or what do you invite them to do to help them come closer to Jesus? There's this girl in our class, and she's not a member, and sometimes me and my other church friends will go up to her at recess and say, hey, do you want to come to activity days? And then we give her the address. You can just like treat them nicely and like hang out with them or you could like invite them to like dinner or like make them cookies and just like be kind to them. All it wasn't too hard. We just went around the block and I was telling them about the gospel and I was tell telling them like the articles and faiths and stuff like that. How you act around anybody or anything, it describes your testimony explains what you're thinking most of the time. It's like telling your testimony without talking. We did an activity and we actually came up with an idea to write notes, nice loving notes, and go to the grocery store and actually give them to people who we thought um, needed to fill the spirit. So that felt like inviting. How did you feel after you did that? I actually felt it felt more spirit than I thought I would, so. Is service maybe an opportunity for you to invite others to come and join you? Next door, if a few months ago, the person living there, she broke her leg. And so me and a bunch of friends, we, we went and shoveled her driveway.
there's an older lady in our ward and usually we go over and like talk to her and give her some company. There's this big storm here and my neighbor, their tree fell down and I went over and helped them cut it up and move the pieces away. You know, some people don't realize that young people your age can give service like that. And you're an example of how much you can do to serve others. I keep thinking about you and the temple. Do you see the connection between service and the temple? How are you preparing to attend the temple when you receive a limited use temple recommend? I had looked over the questions with my parents before. And so then when the bishop interviewed me, I had already reviewed the questions, and so I'm excited when I actually get to use it and get to go in the temple. I do family search as often as I can. If they didn't get an ordinance, get it prepared so that I can let them have those ordinances that they didn't have. I also have been doing a lot of family history lately so I can do baptisms. When, it, when I'm old enough and get my temple recommend. And How does it feel? It feels like I am like, I'm helping other families get together. Like I would feel really sad if my brother or my mom or my dad wasn't with me forever. How does temple and family history work show your love for your ancestors? It's just that they know that you care enough to help them out so that they can go to heaven. Have you ever thought about how long perhaps they've, it's been since they've heard someone say their name? No, that'd be. We like to do family history for family home evening. The whole family does it together. Yeah. Oh, and how does that make you feel? Makes me feel really happy. How is that strengthening your family? Well, because we're doing it together and because family history it's basically just connecting your family. On both sides of the veil, right? Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father sent us here to be part of a family, and he wants us all to return to him as families. I sense that you are all striving to be better as individuals and with your families. Thank you so much for what you're doing because you're bringing light to the world. Thank you. Love you, Sister Jones. Love you. Love you so much. Love you, love you, love you.